Strategic thinking continued. Now let's talk about people. When you think about people, let's go back to space. That was the first video we did. We talked about strategic thinking of space, vertical space, horizontal space. Understanding those, what, what is going on on either side of you and what's going on two levels up and at least two levels down. Now, let's put some specific names in there. What are the strategic relationships you need in order to be effective? Think left and right. Who do you affect the most? Who do, who do you affect the most or who affects you the most? Now, and you're gonna actually put names to those individuals. So as you're putting this picture together, left and right, who do you impact? Who impacts you? Put those names down and a reason on why. What is the impact? What's gonna make the big strategic difference for you? Up and down. Now when you go up, two levels up, two levels down, and it's, just, just, it's not just in your vertical. As you look around, because you have this big box, you've built a box of functional areas left and right of you, and then you have this vertical block. Who, who's affecting you up, thinking about your boss and those below you? What about in those other organizations? Are there some key strategic relationships? So for instance, I'll go back to the example of HR. I'm an HR person. <clears throat> I run the functional area of H HR. I'm a director. But are there some folks that are involved with the finances with the hiring process in an area. So maybe before the example I'm going to carry through, we're doing some hiring and engineering and we're doing hiring in a specific area. What about the relationship? Maybe there's a key strategic relationship that's maybe a level below me over in the engineering side that I need to work with directly or on the finance side. Maybe it's someone who's a level up who ha or a level down who has the expertise that we need in our organization that I need to connect with. Who are those key people? What's going on in my world? And who are the key people that I need to be connected with in order to have that big strategic picture so we can make the impact that we want? That might be on a specific project, might be on a daily basis, and it might be in an overall relationship that you just need to maintain. I might be on a committee that's involved with how we are doing future business, how we're doing our business development. There are probably some key relationships I need there. Or Sponsorship, mentorship, mentorship. What do I need? Where, where am I trying to go? What are those key relationships? So I just gave you a number of different areas to think, but do not just think in your silo, just up and down, left and right. Put yourself all over the board as you step back and look at your organization. What are the strategic relationships that you need so you can accomplish what you need to for this organization?